Welcome to the program briefing of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Its GPS code is JS2510. It's a major program in Faculty of Science. This major program is related to information, communication, and technology. My name is Byron Choi. I'm the program director and an associate professor at the Department of Computer Science. This program is a professional program when it is decided, it is benchmarked with the recommendation from some international body, including IEEE and ACM. The program is also accredited by Hong Kong Institution of Engineers. The program outcomes can be summarized as follows. It equips students with foundations in computer science CS. Students will select in-depth knowledge in some selected areas. CS is not just about technologies or coding. The program emphasizes on problem solving skills. It includes training in communications and practice interpersonal skills. Regarding specialized technological areas, students may choose their concentration of study. The first one is AI. The second concentration is computing and software technologies, CST. The third one is Information System and Analytics, ISA. And finally, an interdisciplinary concentration, DMC, Data and Media Communication. Interested students may also choose double concentration. This picture shows the curriculum structure. It's a bit complicated, but we can get an idea about it together. It's read from the bottom to the top. In year one, student takes a number of science courses, including computer science, of course, and other non-ICT courses such as languages and courses related to university life. In year two, there are foundation courses in computer science. The usual suspects are all here, operating systems, networking, software engineering, databases, some mathematics, programming, data structure, and algorithms. Then in year three, students will study their selected concentration, such as AI, CST, ISA, DMC. Concentration have concentration core and electives and an individual final year project. The program is taught by a large number of dedicated faculty members. Some of them are ranked to the top 2% of most cited scientists by Stanford. In the recent research assessment exercise, the research output of Hong Kong BU Computer Science is ranked number one in Hong Kong. I've mentioned the program emphasizes on problem solving. Let me give you some idea what problems our professors are solving. Professor Jimmy Liu and his research team has studied the transmission patterns of COVID-19 in early 2020. At that time, COVID has just started to spread worldwide. Professor Liu has already studied transmissions and identified ways to reopen the society in a safe way. The result is already published in eClinical Medicine in May 2020. Another example of problems that our professors are solving, Professor Xu Jianliang conducted research in security and data privacy. His research results has been implemented in an app to alert users that contact with COVID-19 patients. I find the ideas very interesting as whatever data that leaves the apps, it will be encrypted. And whether the users have been contacted with a patient is encrypted also. These projects by our professors give you an idea that we solve real world problems and we have an emphasis on health informatics and security. Then I hope to give you an impression about um, the concentration. Okay, the first concentration is DMC. It's an interdisciplinary concentration co-offered by the Department of Computer Science and Department of Journalism. The future of news media is in how we collect raw data, analyze them and visualize them in various ways. At the end, the findings are reported. 
this requires both journalistic skills and computer science skills and vision. Here, DMC provides training on both journalism and data analytics. And obviously, our colleagues from the Department of Journalism have good connections with media. And nowadays, we need new skill sets in journalism, such as writing programming scripts and using software tools. And other concentration is computing and software technologies, CST. I want to highlight some final year projects to give you a feel about the concentration. First, we all know there have been surveillance systems everywhere. How can we detect moving objects in videos more accurately and more efficiently? Blockchain has been a well-known tool for fintech, such as Open Ledger. How about using it for recording rental transactions? Chatbot has been around for a while. How about using it to classify true or misleading information about COVID-19? You can see that the projects apply technologies to solve some practical problems in an innovative way. In 2021, our students have won the FYP competitions of Hong Kong's IEEE Computational Intelligence chapter. You may notice that the FYP are all related to AI. And yes, AI has been a hot topic recently. So we have recently organized our courses into an AI concentration. Last but not the least, Information System and Analytics Concentration, ISA. ISA students build information systems. So it's different from the ones offered by business school. Our ISA students can do system development. Systems takes data as input and produce useful information as output. For example, in a smart home system, elderly may have a smartwatch. It constantly generates her location's data. But this data is not the most useful thing. From data analysis, we may know that elderly move from the living room to the restroom, and every time she stops by the corner, she slows down. It just because we arrange a table around the corner. We want information that tell us that we should rearrange the furniture here to avoid risk. And similarly, our students may develop a system to efficiently commute in Hong Kong. Here is another example of uh, ISA projects. It's a very local example, um, but it would give you an idea about the major elective courses. This project is about taking away apps from the uh, restaurants in Kowloon City. Kowloon City is an interesting place because it has many restaurants in Kowloon. Um, the best bit is that so Kowloon City is just 10 minutes walk from the campus. Some of our students just hang around there. So how about having them to help collecting takeaways and they would earn points in the process. So our students develop a mobile app and put Google map on and uh, develop an ordering systems and uh, have a notification systems. And uh, at the end of the day, of course, um, based on the business data, so we can generate some data driven reports. Our students learn programming by playing. This is a computer lab of our year one students. They program their post to control a remote car. Later, some of them become ambassadors of a similar lab for secondary school students. So it's an example that we go out to the society and promote ICT. Our students look into important issue of the society. This is an example. Uh, it's an international design workshop we organize. Students from different Asian city come together and in this case, to discuss shared economy for elderly. You can see that um, computer science students so, uh, visited um, elderly home in Japan, understand the issues over there, and Japanese and Taiwanese students visited Hong Kong's NGO to understand the situation in Hong Kong, and they designed solutions together, exchange ideas, give presentations, and had a good time.
Regarding outside classroom learning opportunity, there are plenty. Here I list some exchange programs that are exclusive to computer science students. Students may also join the activities based on their interests. For example, there are cross-cultural learning experience such as Semester SC. Start up semester at UC Berkeley for entrepreneurship, design challenge on COVID-19, and of course research, attending international conferences, and give presentation. There are also study tools to labs and companies. And internship has been a mandatory. Um, there are also opportunities for one-year placements. Recently, we have more than um, 100 students taking summer internship. Regarding the career, our fresh graduate obtained offers from these company. There are some famous banks and I banks, and of course, some technological companies. Later on, some student graduate and work in a technology giants company like Google, Facebook, and Oracle. Students may get a PhD and in turn become our uh, lecturer. Speaking of postgraduate degrees, our students got MSE or PhD offers from different universities in the world. Here shows some examples. These show that our graduates are well received from both industry and academia. Finally, the program has a dedicated teaching team um, and we have built a supportive environment there have been numerous scholarships. Some are based on academic merits. Some are based on services to the communities and some are designed for research excellence. That's all for this information section. For more information, please visit our websites or write us emails. Thank you very much.